good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Ron Trail Johnson. I'm the facility personnel manager here at American Synthetic Rubber Company, or as many of us call it, ASRC. I really would like to thank all of you for being here uh, with us today and joining us as we celebrate our transition to a new gas boiler. I would especially like to thank the following people, Congressman Morgan McGarvey, Mayor Craig Greenberg, Senator Gerald Neal, Representative Beverly Chester Burton, Malcolm Jolly from the Cabinet for Economic Development, Councilwoman Tammy Hawkins, Deputy Mayor Pat Malloy, Deputy Mayor Nicole George, David Kaplan from the Mayor's Office, Jeff O'Brien, Executive Director of Louisville Metro Economic Development, Sumita Rao of the Office of Sustainability, Matt King from APCD, Anita Gatson, Executive Director of the West Jefferson County Community Task Force, Brian Snyder of Greater Louisville Inc., and all of our Michelin North American guests who traveled from Greenville, South Carolina to be with us here today, including Alexi Garcin, who is our uh, President and CEO. We also have Terry Redmile, our Senior Vice President of Manufacturing. Felicia Sanders is our Chief Human Resources Officer and Carol Fulcher, who is a Director of Sustainability and Government Affairs. Again, we would like to thank all of you for being here with us today. So let me transition into safety, a priority here at ASRC. So it is a bit warm, including even under the tent. So just keep hydrated. I want to make sure I let everyone know. You should have water underneath your seat. If you have already consumed that water or you need more, if you need anything, just please raise your hand and we have a group of ambassadors that will be ready to assist you and help you in whatever way you need. All right. The other thing I want to make sure everyone is aware of is you. there is a possibility if you hear an alarm, don't panic. All right. Depending on the alarm, we may have to relocate, relocate to a different area. In the event that it is the case, we do have ambassadors that are here to be able to assist you and get you to the right location. So with that said, I want to introduce and welcome to the podium the plant manager of ASRC, all right, Mr. Michelle Cristante. Ah, no, it doesn't come out. Good morning, everybody. So like Ron Trent said, I'm the plant manager of uh, ASRC for four years now, but I've spent more than 10 years uh, in this uh, plant and in the community, so it's a big part of my professional life and my uh, personal life. So be before talking about uh, why we are here today, and what the project is about, I'd like uh, to go back a little bit in history and give you a some information that you may know already for some of you about ASRC, the, the history of ASRC. So let's go back to 1941. We are at war, no, none of us were born, right? Uh, we are at war. The, Japan, uh, the Japanese have invaded uh, Asia, Malaysia, etc. And there is no natural rubber going to the States to make tires. So at that time, the Defense Department decided to uh, construct a set of factories in order to make synthetic rubber. The process known to make synthetic rubber was uh, a process designed by the Germans. So using a German recipe and process, the Defense Department uh, had to create a set of factories uh, to be able to produce this synthetic rubber. So what do we need to make this uh, process work? We need coal, and there is plenty of coal in Kentucky. And with the coal, the chemists, they can make any building blocks uh, necessary to make any chemicals. The German process needs a lot of water. There is a big river in Kentucky. And uh, Kentucky is far, far away from any plains, Japanese plain or German plains. So this is the place. This is why a set of plants were built in Rubber Town in 1942 to make the building blocks. And ASRC was the first plant to make synthetic rubber in August 
1942, so 82 years ago, ASRC was making synthetic rubber. Uh, after the Korean War in 1950, the plant was sold uh, to private uh, companies. That's why that's where the came American Synthetic Rubber Corporation uh, started. And Michelin bought the plant in 1992. Uh, since then, Michelin invested a lot in this factory. We had many, many investments up to today, where we make uh, around 300 million pounds of rubber per year. And all this rubber is specific for Michelin tires. We don't find it in the commerce and we don't sell it. So if you have a, a car and you have Michelin tire, you have rubber for May SRC. It's good to know. I don't know if everybody knew that. Um, so what is, uh, we have another investment today to celebrate. The investment we are making today is uh, another commitment, an example of commitment of the Michelin company to uh, make uh, the impact on the environment as uh, minimal as possible. So what uh, this uh, project entails, it entails the construction of a new guys boiler house. The process we use is using a lot of steam, so we need a new guys boiler house. We'll have also a new, it's off. Hello? Everything can happen. We prepare days and days. And today it happened. <laughs> All right, gonna try. Okay, it's coming back. So we're gonna build the new gas boiler house with a new water treatment, and then we demolish. We demolish the coal boiler house that you can see. That's the big building that you can see in front of you. What will be the impact of this project? This project will uh, have four main impacts. We'll have a better air quality in the area. We we'll significantly reduce the uh, solid waste because we will not burn coal, so we will no ash. We will significantly reduce the CO2 emissions and we will significantly reduce the water consumption. And just to be more specific, we're gonna reduce the CO2 emissions by 60,000 tons per year which is equivalent to 13,000 cars per year, depending on the type of cars. And we're going to reduce the water intake by 40 million gallons per year, which is equivalent to 140,000 households. So the, these numbers are outstanding. Uh, that make us all proud at ASRC to work for a company with such great values, I mean uh, Michelin. Our next speaker will uh, talk a little bit more about uh, Michelin. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Michelle. And now I would like to introduce and welcome to the podium President and CEO of Michelin North America, All right, Alexi Garson. Thank you, Rantre. <clears throat> thank you, Michel. And to all of you uh, present today, thank you for joining us. It's a great day in Louisville, but it's a big day uh, for Louisville, a big day for the state of Kentucky, and a big day for the Michelin employees. Your support uh, was very instrumental in bringing to life uh, this project, the project of uh, decommissioning and dismantling the coal boilers here at the American Synthetic Rubber Company and installing a new boiler house with three natural gas boilers. As Michel said, this project is uh, driven by Michelin's commitments to reducing its environmental impacts on our operations. Because at Michelin, wherever we operate, in the US, in Canada, or everywhere in the world, we strive to be a good steward of uh, the natural resources around us, and a great neighbor who gives back to communities we live, work, and play. 
One of our company's values is uh, taking care of the planets, uh, what is, which is embedded into our all sustainable strategy. It means that Michelin balances every business decision across three domains, the people, the profits, and the planets, taking care that uh, one is not emphasized more than the others. Let's start with people. What does that mean for us at Michelin? Here in Louisville, for example, our 430 ASRC employees are passionate about giving back to the community and they volunteer almost 1,000 hours in community service each year. They also donated to the Metro United Way, supporting Louisville and specifically the, one in need, the ones in need, donating nearly $45,000 last year. We have also worked to be a good neighbor to those around us and around these sites. Currently, more than one third of our employees live in the West End neighborhoods close to the plants. As a good steward, as I said, who cares for the health and the well-being of our employees and our community, we are continually looking for areas for potential reduction in environmental impacts and improving the quality of life for everyone at or around the site. Which brings us to the planet, the second pillar, and the reason for today's event. We are committed to reducing our environmental impacts, which is why we are celebrating the construction of the gas boiler house today. This boiler house is a significant, more energy efficient way of producing steam through a modern, efficient, and natural gas fired boilers with drastic emission reduction water intake reduction and solid waste reduction. This project is uh, the result of an investment of more than $50 million in the site, which connects us to the last pillar, the profits. Because needless to say that without a profitable growth, none of those investments in the people, in the talent, in the community and in the factory would have been possible. And I'm very proud to share, and I think all the employees here would, would echo that with me, that we are a proud member of the Louisville community for more than 80 years now. And you may not know, though, that uh, space innovation is created right here in Louisville, right here in this facility. Indeed, in addition to the synthetic rubber production, ASRC is the sole supplier of a liquid polymer that is used as the propellant binder for reusable solid rockets motors used by NASA. And the propellant was used for all the space shuttles and it is currently being used in NASA's Artemis campaign. And this legacy continues in our work today because earlier this year in April, NASA announced that they were evaluating three companies to come up with the preliminary designs for vehicles to take NASA astronauts around the lunar South Pole region in the coming years and before the end of this decade. And the other two companies beside Michelin include Boeing and Northrop Grumman. And Michelin really looks forward to continuing our long history in space travel. And I want to thank again the incredible team at ASRC for making this possible. So in closing, this uh, gas pool investment is a major step for ASRC and will continue to proactively partner with the local community organizations to invest where all of you live, work and play and ensure the sustainability, sustainability of our operation here in Weville at ASRC. Again, I would like to thank the Mayor Greenberg and all of his staff for the unwavering support because without your support, None of this would have been possible. And I would like also to thank the Michelin people that uh, contributed to make it, uh, this event possible and this investment possible. I have a lot of names in line, but I would just quote, quote just a few on Will Whitley and Francesca Mosteller, David Chapman, and obviously Michel, uh, the plant manager. And Michelin is humble enough for not saying that, but I will uh, say it in his name. Michel has, Michel has been working uh, 34 years for the company 
and he's going to retire in the next few weeks. And I want to thank you, Michel, for having an impact on the group and on the reveal today. Thank you very much. So as you understand, all of us, including myself at Michelin, we all look forward to continuing to play an active role in the Louisville community for the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Alexi. And now, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce and welcome to the stage and to the podium, uh, Congressman McCarthy. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Ron Trell. Thank you so much. Thank you to Alexi and your team at Michelin. Thank you to Michelle and your team here at ASRC for welcoming us here. Michelle, you gave a great history lesson of this place. I want to ground us in where we are right now. We're in Rubber Town. We in Louisville know this place. We are in Rubber Town. And we are proud of the history of this place. We are proud that in 1942, this place opened and not just supplied synthetic rubber to the world, but it supplied it in a way that helped free the very world we know today. We're proud of those facts. We're proud of the manufacturing that continues to take place here. And we are proud of the men and women whose work makes sure that Michelin is a global leader in motion. I'm excited, excited. Today's a big deal, guys. So I am excited and I am encouraged that Michelin is committed to being a good neighbor to our rubber town neighbors. They, they've demonstrated that today by decommissioning outdated coal boilers and installing new natural gas boilers to lessen the plant's environmental impact. This is a $50 million investment that will reduce air emissions, solid waste generation, and water usage. We talk about the history. When we talk about the impact of today, we have to recognize that very history. Because this announcement, it's important to the people who live here. It's important to the people who work here. It's important to the people who raise their families here. Because for too long, residents in the West End of Louisville have borne a disproportionate burden for the negative impacts of industry. Standing here today, I think we have to acknowledge that fact. And we have to acknowledge that the social and environmental challenges that we currently face are intertwined. Bad policy created some of those challenges. But the good news is we can undo it. And it's up to us to advocate for better policies that create a clean and better future. We must commit to strike a balance between economic development environmental protection, and human rights. I know that Michelin shares that commitment, and I believe today is an incredibly important step in that direction. So thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing. And I'm excited to work with Michelin and ASRC to keep this moving forward. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Congressman McGarvey. And now I would like to introduce and welcome to the podium, Mayor Craig Greenberg. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for everyone for gathering with, for this great announcement as everyone has talked about. Thanks to all of our friends from Michelin for what you do here and Louisville and elsewhere. And it's always great to be with my good friends and other elected leaders, Senator Neal, Representative Chester Burton, and Councilwoman Tammy, Tammy Hawkins, who represents this and other surrounding areas and is working so hard for our city. I'm joined by several of my colleagues as well from the mayor's office. We are excited. We are excited because this is great news for Louisville. This is great news for Rubbertown. This is great news for West Louisville. This is great news for everyone here across our city. And so I'm, we're very grateful to all of the leaders at Michelin for making this investment in cleaner energy right here in our city. This is a great example of what it takes to make progress 
when you're committed to sustainability. And that's why it's great to have corporate citizens like Michelin that are stepping up with smart, responsible investments like this one right here in Louisville. Michelin understands, just as we all do here at Louisville Metro Government, that we can have sustainability and prosperity at the same time, just as Congressman McGarvey just mentioned. We need more investments like this. We need more partnerships like this, more innovation, because the environmental challenges that we are facing across our city and country are very serious. And that's why when I became mayor, I elevated our Office of Sustainability into the mayor's office so that we could incorporate sustainability policies into all of our decisions. And to help us set our own goals at Louisville Metro Government, we've set incredibly ambitious goals for our government and our city, just as Michelin and others have. And we all need to be ambitious. And as we continue to make progress, like we're making progress here today, we need to even be more ambitious and to continue to move that bar so that we continue to focus on sustainability. Across our city, some of the progress we've made is we've enrolled 200 households in our Solarized Louisville program. We've installed enough cool roofs across the city to cover 20 football fields. Our energy manager at Louisville Metro Government has reduced energy consumption by 10% in the last three years and reduced our costs by over $2 million. And our terrific team at the Air Pollution Control, Control District reports in the last 20 years, emissions of toxic air pollution have reduced almost 80%. That's great progress. That's great progress for our city, for our government, and working with partners like Michelin will continue to make great progress like this as we continue to have ambitious goals. We can only get there with more partnerships, more collaboration, I'm loud, more innovation. That is how we make our city safer, cleaner, greener, and healthier. So thanks to Michelin, thanks to my elected official colleagues, thanks to everyone in Louisville Metro government who is working to make our city cleaner, greener, and healthier. And we look forward to continuing this partnership for years to come. Thank you all very much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mayor Greenberg. So, I would like, we would like to illustrate why we are all gathered here today. And with that said, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce and welcome to the podium the project leader for the gas Board project here at ASRC, Mr. Chris Heine. Chris is going to unveil for us a model of the new gas boiler building. All right, and Chris, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Rontrell. So, as you can see behind me, we've already broken ground. We launched construction early June with our partner, Lock AMI, Bowen Engineering, and Power Engineers. So, we still have a lot of work to do. We've got about two years to complete this project. So, in 2026, we expect to complete construction and start to ramp up the gas boiler house. So in light of that, I'd like to give you a brief glimpse of what this boiler house is going to look like. Okay. 